Please go on, Elizabeth. The boy's crying. And his mother. And his little sister. He doesn't want him to go. What happens next? And then, E.T. says, I'll be right here. And then he gets on his spaceship and flies away. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Make fun of the old man. <laughs> I think you're ready to go home, Elizabeth. What? I'm not ready. We're not finished yet. Oh, we're far from finished. You'll be seeing me twice a week. So I just go home? Back to normal? Stick to your routine. And no drink or drugs. But, yes, pretty much back to normal. You can go. Thank you. We'll see each other soon. Did a bit of sorting out. Is it all right? I love it. I've put everything away. It's tidier, don't you think? I've made this plan for you. I just thought it might help you uh, plan your days. Oh, you found Pato. It's under your bed. Come on, you funny giraffe. You can have that back too. Now, don't speak to any bad men. Regards to Lonelyville. I'm staying in my well appointed valley on the hill. Oh, I grow hair on seawater and sun and honey milk. And leave something to lonely in this sweet will. I once was there to find the girl at Mystic Morning's Eve. There in the shade with all things up its leaves. Waking to the mark to be known, to be free.